Welcome to Small Victories Yoga, I'm Melissa. Before we begin, I'd like to ask, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. And if you have any suggestions or ideas for future classes, please go ahead and leave them in the comment section. For today's class, we're gonna be working on a strength building power yoga session. You won't need any props. And as always, you do what feels good, skip what doesn't work and just try to have some fun. So we'll begin by standing in the center of our mats, rooting down into your feet and standing tall, pick the shoulders up and roll them down your back. And just take a deep inhale and a loud sigh. And we'll begin by doing a little bit of wrist stretching. So just take a minute and start to shake your hands out. And then reach one arm long in front of you and gently pull the fingers back towards the shoulder. You could begin to come into your Ujjayi breathing if you'd like. Just inhaling and exhaling through your nose. And then go ahead and flip your fingers to point down and same thing, gently pulling the fingers towards the torso. And then we'll switch sides. Flipping the fingers to point down. And then release, interlace your fingers and turn the palms of your hands to face away from you. Reach up to the sky, rooting down and getting really tall, reaching up, take an inhale here. And as you exhale, go over to a side, lengthening both sides of your torso. Just a few breaths here. And then back to center, reaching up and then over to the opposite side. Come back to center, release your hands, interlace the fingers behind the back, knuckles reach towards the heels, heart and gaze up to the sky as you gently lean back. And then stand tall, bend your knees, start to fold forward, nose towards the knees, and you could go ahead and straighten the legs as much as feels good. And then release your hands, hands to your shins, halfway lift. And then bring your fingertips to the mat, spread your toes really wide and come on down into toes pose. So you can keep your fingertips on the mat or you could bring your hands to your heart. Core's engaged to help you with your balance. Drop the heels to the mat, fold forward, sweep your arms out and up, hands touch overhead. Pull it through, tap your third eye in your heart and just pause here for a moment. Take a deep inhale and a sigh. And I ask that you set an intention for this session. I will suggest an affirmation for you to repeat quietly to yourself throughout the class. If it resonates with you, and if it doesn't for any reason, feel free to just skip it. My suggestion is, I am unshakable. I am unshakable. Open your eyes. 
Swim your arms up overhead, hands touch, pull it through, third eye into your heart, toes pose. Drop your heels to the mat, fold forward, sweep your arms out and up, hands touch overhead, third eye into your heart, toes pose. Drop the heels, fold forward, swim the arms out and up, hands touch, third eye into your heart, toes pose. Heels drop to the mat, fold and stand, sweep your arms out and up, third eye into your heart, toes pose. Drop back, sit on your mat and come into boat pose. So you can bring your hands underneath your knees if you'd like. You could extend the arms out long. Breathing here. Reach your fingertips to the sky, flex your feet and slowly lower your legs down to the mat. Get long through the spine, reach up and then fold forward, grab what you can, your feet or your ankles, stretching out. And then release your feet, bring your hands a few inches beyond your hips, fingers point toward your toes, your toes are touching and pointed, lift the hips up, pressing the bottoms of the feet towards the mat. If it feels okay, drop your head. Drop your hips to the mat. Bring your right hand behind you, fingers point to the back of your mat. Left hand in front of you and slide it over side plank. You can bring that bottom knee to the mat if you'd like. Lifting that top arm up, maybe extending it over your head, maybe repeating that affirmation in your mind, I am unshakable. Bring that top hand to the mat, pivot your toes to point to the opposite side of your mat, straighten both legs and fold, nose to your knee. Standing split, lift that right leg up to the sky. If you want to play around, grab the ankle with one hand, two hands. Keep breathing. And then gently step both feet together to touch, center of your mat, squat down, toes pose. Hands to your heart. Drop your heels, fold, nose to your knees. Sweep the arms out and up, hands touch. Third eye into your heart, toes pose. Drop the heels, fold, sweep the arms out and up, hands touch, third eye into your heart, toes pose. Drop the heels, fold, straighten up, hands touch overhead, third eye into your heart, toes pose. Sit back on your mat, boat pose, lifting the legs, lifting the heart, returning to that affirmation, I am unshakable. 
fingertips reach to the sky, feet flex, lower the legs, lengthen the spine, fold it forward, grab whatever you can. Release the feet, hands behind you, fingers point towards your toes, toes touch in point. Lift it up. If it's okay on the neck, drop the head. Lower the hips to the mat, left hand behind you, fingers point away from you, right hand beside you. Lift it up, side plank, reaching up. Perhaps you reach over your head, building strength here. Keep breathing. Drop that hand to the mat, pivot the toes to point to the opposite side of your mat. Straighten both legs, fold nose to your knee. Standing split, left leg lifts. Perhaps you play around with balance, grabbing the ankle with one hand or two hands. Stepping both feet to touch, center of your mat, squat down, toes pose. We're going to do that little sequence one more time. Drop your heels to the mat, fold, sweep your arms out and up, hands touch. Third eye into your heart, toes pose. Drop the heels, fold, arms sweep out and up, hands touch, third eye, heart, Toes pose. Heels to the mat, fold, sweep the arms out and up, hands touch, third eye, heart, toes pose. Boat pose. Fingers reach to the sky, feet flex, gently lower the legs, reach up, fold it forward. Release the feet, Fing hands behind you, fingers point towards your toes, lift it up. Drop the hips to the mat, right fingers to the opposite side of the mat, left hand beside you, lift it up, reach the arm up to the sky, perhaps over your head, breathing. Bring that hand to the mat, pivot the toes to point to the opposite side of your mat, straighten both legs and fold. Standing split, right leg lifts, balancing maybe by grabbing the ankle with one hand or two hands. Stepping both feet together to touch, center of your mat, squatting down, toes pose. Drop the heels, fold, sweep the arms out and up, hands touch, third eye, heart, toes pose. Drop the heels, fold, sweep the arms out and up, hands touch, third eye, heart, toes pose. Sit back. Boat pose. Remember that affirmation. 
I am unshakable. Fingers reach to the sky, feet flex, lower the legs, lift up, grow tall, fold it forward. Releasing the feet, hands behind you, toes point, lift it up. Drop the hips to the mat, left fingers point behind you, right hand beside you, lift it up, reach up. Maybe you reach over, you got this. Hand to the mat, toes pivot to the opposite side of your mat, straightening your legs as you fold. Standing split, lift that left leg. Grab the ankle, one hand, two hands. Stepping both feet together to touch towards the front of your mat. Sweep your arms out and up, hands touch. Third eye into your heart, fold, nose to knees. Halfway lift. Step it back into a high push-up and we pause here. Drop down to your knees and come on down to your forearms, low plank. So we're building strength here in our core, in our entire body. And we're also working on building that inner strength, that unshakable strength. Keep breathing, you got this. Drop the hips to the mat, lift the heart up, cobra, press back, child's pose. Hands and knees, come to a seat in the center of your mat. Sitting up tall, hands and feet are parallel and slowly roll down. Bend your knees, set up bridge pose. You could measure it off if you'd like. Middle finger touching the backs of the heels. And then slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. And you can keep the arms long at your sides or you scooch the shoulders and interlace the fingers, pressing down into the feet to lift the hips. If you'd like to lift the heels, you can. If it feels okay in your body and you want to lift the right leg, point the toes to the sky, feel free. The leg is lifted, drop it. Perhaps the opposite leg lifts, perhaps not. Drop the leg if it's lifted. Last time, press down to lift up. If the fingers are interlaced, release them. And very slowly, one vertebrae at a time, unroll. Hips land and then heels land. And then once again, we're gonna grab underneath the knees and roll up into boat pose. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Remember your mantra, I am unshakable. If you'd like to bring the arms out long and lengthen the legs, you can. Keep breathing. You got this. Fingers reach to the sky, feet flex, lower the legs down, reach up and grow tall, fold forward. Release your feet, hands behind you, toes touch and point. Lift it up. Drop the hips, right fingers behind you, left hand beside you, roll it up. 
Lift that arm up to the sky, perhaps over your head. Keep breathing. Drop that hand to the mat, toes pivot to the opposite side of your mat, and this time you drop the back knee to the mat, straightening that front leg. Toes can point to your third eye, hips press towards the back heel. And then come back to center, flatten that left foot, and then scooch the foot over to the side of your mat, setting up half pigeon. Now, you can keep the shin parallel to the mat, or you bring the heel a little closer to the hip, lengthening through the back leg, folding forward to your own degree. If you'd like to add a little bit of a shoulder stretch here, you could reach the right arm underneath your torso, make a fist with your left hand and rest your head on your hand. Come on up to long arms. Lift your heart up, perhaps you gaze up, take an inhale. And as you exhale, sit back on that left hip, gently bring the right leg along, around in front of you. Lift the arms up towards the sky, fold forward, grab what you can. Release your feet, hands behind you, fingers point towards your toes, touching and pointing, lift the hips, drop the head. Sit down on your mat, left fingers behind you, right fingers beside you, roll it up, reach it up, maybe reach it over your head. Bring that hand to the mat, pivot the toes around, point to the opposite side of your mat, drop that back knee to the mat, straighten your back leg, toes to your third eye, hips towards your back heel. And then come on up, flatten that foot, scooch the foot over to the opposite side of your mat, setting up half pigeon. Once again, you could have the shin parallel or bring the heel in a little closer to the hip. Lengthen that back leg and then gently fold forward. And if you'd like to do a shoulder stretch here, you reach the left arm under, make a fist with the right hand and rest. Come on up to long arms, lift your heart up, look up, take an inhale here, and as you exhale, sit on that back hip, bring the back leg around to the front, legs are long in front of you, reach up, fold it forward, see if you can get a little longer this time. 
And then release your feet, hands behind you, toes touch in point. This is the last one. Lift it up as high as you possibly can. Drop the head if it's okay on the neck. Drop the hips to the mat. Sit on your fingertips. Roll back onto your elbows, fish pose, drop your head. Lion's breath here. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Stick out your tongue and roar. <sighs> Again. <sighs> One more. <sighs> Release your elbows. Lay down flat on your back. Arms out like a T. Bend your knees. Planting your feet on the mat. Cross the right leg tightly over the left, squeezing the thighs together. Lift the hips up and move them to the right edge of your mat. Turn your gaze to the right and drop your knees to the left. Turn the palms to face the sky if they're not. Lift the right arm, reach it up and over, get really long, hands touch. And then gracefully glide that hand all the way back, opening up. Come back to center, uncross your legs. Position yourself in the center of your mat and then left leg crosses over the right. Lift the hips up, scooch them to the left side of your mat. Turn your gaze to the left and drop your knees to the right. Close your eyes. Once again, palms facing up. Left arm reaches up, comes across, hands touch, and then just gracefully glide it back, opening up. Bring your knees back to center, uncross. Hug yourself into a tight ball. A moment of gratitude. Be grateful for the beautiful, capable body that you have that just finished this yoga practice. Take a deep inhale. And as you sigh, set up your Shavasana. So your toes fall out to the sides. Your arms are long at your sides, palms face up. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Fill your lungs and hold your breath. Sigh it out of your mouth. Normal, everyday breathing here. Remember, our bodies may quiver, our minds may wander, but deep down in our core, we are unshakable. Bring your awareness to your toes, the balls of your feet, your arches and your heels, and all those tiny bones in your feet. Feel them relax. Your ankles relax. Your shins and your calves sink. Your knees are relaxed. 
your thighs and your thigh bones melt. Feel your hips, glutes, pelvis, all of your internal organs sink. Feel your entire spinal column just slowly melt into the mat. Your shoulders and your angel bones relax. Your ribs and your lungs relax. Your heart is at rest. All of the muscles in your back melt. Biceps, triceps, elbows, forearms, wrists, all 10 fingers, those little bones in your hands. Even your fingernails relax. Your neck is relaxed. Your chin, jaw, teeth, tongue, lips relax. Ears, cheeks, and nose relax. Eyes, eyeballs, eyelids, and eyebrows relax. Forehead, scalp, and brain. Your entire body is relaxed. Please allow yourself another three to five minutes, longer if you can, here in Shavasana. Yoga is an opportunity for us to realize that it is more fulfilling to do the work than to avoid it. It shows us that when we dig deep beneath the chaos and touch the core of our authentic self, we begin to build a strength that becomes unshakable. Go deep beneath the mind chatter, beneath the ego. Touch that place where you become unshakable down to your core. Thank you for practicing with me today. I'll see you next time. Namaste.